Well, reward this. those who got You'll never better. Guess who's and next. Sometimes he'll put down people that you know didn't come back any better. He makes them work. He He's the current work. Arnold Classic Australian champion. He's from the Netherlands, ladies and gentlemen, and he's here to win. Welcome, the conqueror, William Bonac. All right, they call him the conqueror, William Bonac, taking the stage. Now, this was our pick this morning. Uh, from what it looked like, uh, he was, uh, it, you know, in first or second. I mean, it's certainly in the top two. Um, it didn't seem like anybody, they ever put him out anywhere uh, towards the end. So, right. um, in my opinion, I think they had him in first. It's William show to win or lose. And uh, the, the one thing is, he's a model of consistency, man. We'd never see this guy out of shape. And he's won the Arnold before, so it wouldn't be uh, it wouldn't That doesn't be, hurt. It wouldn't be a shocker. Yeah, it wouldn't be a shocker. And he is the second best bodybuilder in the world on yeah. paper. Also doesn't hurt. Oh, it doesn't. Now, Aaron, this is what you were talking about yeah. earlier. His lats literally go right into where his posing trunks are. You don't see that with a whole lot of bodybuilders, man. That is some muscle right there. Look yeah. how low his lats insert. That's crazy. That's where genetics come into play. Uh, there's no way to bring your lats lower, unfortunately. No. <laughs> this no, is no. what it is. It looks like he's not wearing any oil. No. Uh, you know what? Good observation. Um, yeah, his, he looks very dry in terms of... Now, we use dry as a term, obviously, of, of conditioning, but uh, his legs look like... Yeah, you're yes. right. There's. It almost looks like he has no oil on, on much of them. Now, can that hurt him, Luke? Or is it just something um, no, we're seeing? I, 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 yeah, I think it's more just, you know, like from this perspective. I think the judges can see what they need to see. I feel like, you know, they're, like you said, Bob, about polish. There is something to be said. You know, when you see, I always think when I see Phil, saw Phil Heath come out on stage at the Olympia and everything is perfect from head to toe and he has the color and the oil right, it does do something, you know? Well, it's kind of interesting here because to the untrained eye, you would actually think he's not as good as he was this morning. But you can't really tell because you're right. He doesn't. It doesn't look like he's got a. If he's got any oil on, it's not a lot, or it's he's just his skin just soaked it up. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's not even it's hurting him at all. Now that said, there is a difference when you are live and and that you know you're 20 feet away as the judges are, uh, that they can see all that fine detail that you know we obviously you can't see at home as you guys are watching this. So you can see he's still in great condition here. I mean, uh, any change from this morning, Luke? No, I think he looks about the same. Yeah. I mean, that's just, I mean, with William, he's always that consistent, isn't yeah. he? So yeah. he doesn't... You know, it's, it's funny, the oil, the oil situation is, it's hard to know 100%. Now and, they're, zoom, they're zooming in for us. Better, uh, hopefully you guys are getting shot. the same shot. Now you're getting a better clip shot. Uh, I don't know. Uh, he, may not <laughs> so, be, he may not be as good as... You know player. what? I, it may not be an oil thing. Maybe I thought, I think he was a little sharper this morning. Yeah. Now, like all things to an end. All right. Is that enough for Big Rami? Did you see enough out of Big Rami or uh, Dexter? Because Dexter was sharper uh, I tonight. I think we're going to have to wait until they're, they're all stood together. Yeah. There is quite a disparity between his legs. Yeah, I mean, is. Yeah. Is that his left leg, I mean, you can see it. I mean, there's something. I heard he had something, an injury before the Olympia. Well, you can see he's got almost yeah. like a little knot on his on his left knee, yeah, and, I mean, and you can't really tell if that's. Uh, it has affected that leg. Yeah. I mean, if you look at his VMO, his teardrop above his knee, it's quite down. But it's not, again, it's not really hurting him. No. When you've got muscle to spare. You know, you can, you can get tell you what. He looks awesome, but... Oh, it looks insane. Now, if, Luke, if you're his coach... Do it. Do it! Come on. Come on.